Hello everybody, I'm Gopinath Vijay Rangan and I'll be presenting the topic on light-based memory chip. I hope you get a better understanding as we proceed further. The evolution of secondary storage has brought a tremendous change. For instance, the first hard drive IBM 305 RAMAC had a storage capacity of 5 MB and weighed over a ton. The latest hard disks have a capacity of 1 terabyte and weighs less than a pound. The secondary storage has evolved further from hard drives to solid state devices. Very recently, there are researchers going on light based memory chips, which has at least 50 to 100 times more processing speed than that of the SSD. How does a hard disk work? The actuator, electronic device controlled by a motor that moves the hard drive head arm, actuator axis. The actuator rotates the actuator axis, moving the connected arm to read write data. Head. They move about the platter and transform the magnetic field into electric current to read data and vice versa to write data. Spindle. It holds the platters in place. Platter. They are one or more uh, aluminium or glass or ceramic disc that is coated with magnetic media to permanently store the data. The platters can rotate to a speed of 7200 rpm. Sectors and tracks. They store and retrieve the data from the platter. Once the read-write head arrives on certain location on the platter, an electromagnet produces a magnetic field which aligns the data carrying domains in one of the two possible directions, either a 0 or a 1. As these alignments change, they form patterns that correspond to discrete chunks of digital information. What is an SSD, a solid state device, and what's different about it? They are faster than a typical hard drive and do not have any moving parts. A SSD contains a printed circuit board, host interface, NAND, NAND controller. The non-volatile NAND flash memory is used for its low cost and its, avail and its ability to retain data without constant power supply. NAND flash memory stores data in individual memory cells. Each cell consists of a single transistor called as the floating gate metal oxide surface field effect transistor that can store electrons in floating gate. Large voltage difference between the drain and the source creates a large electric field which allows electrons to flow between source through the drain. As electron travels closer to drain, it gains more momentum. The number of electrons on the floating gate affects the threshold voltage of the cell. This effect is measured to determine the state of the cell. Electrons are stored in the floating gate with charge 0 or 1. 0 means the electrons are charged and they store data. 1 means the electrons are not charged and they read data. There are two types of NAND flash. They are single level cell which stores 1 bit, either a 0 or a 1. The multi-level cell stores 2 bits per cell, thus making it less expensive than the single level cell. Light based memory chip. The light bit memory chip stores, manipulates and moves data with photons of light instead of electrons. This uses a standard chip making technology with a silicon nitride device known as a waveguide, which contains and channels pulses of lights. The waveguide has material called GST, which consists of a thin layer of alloy of germanium, antimony and tellurium, which is the material at the heart of the rewritable CDs and DVDs. The stream of light looks something like a laser emitted from Iron Man. One B with high intensity and the other with low intensity. This is passed into waveguide. When an intense pulse of light is sent into the waveguide, the high intensity of the light's electromagnetic field melts the GST, turning its crystalline atomic structure to amorphous. When a slight Less intense pulse is sent into the waveguide, the material reverts back to its original crystalline structure. When this alloy is zapped with an intense pulse of laser light, GST film changes its atomic structure from an ordered crystalline lattice to an amorphous jumble. These two structures reflect light in different ways and light-based memory chip uses the difference to store data. Please find the references and thank you.